reporter Darren Warren. Darren, what do protesters have to say? Yes, the group is called We Can't Wait, and as you can hear behind me right here, they're chanting contracts matter. We can't wait, and they just want legislators to make laws that are going to help disabled victims of car accidents get the proper care that they need, and that it definitely includes paying at-home care workers a proper wage, and also medical care in general. And here now with me, we have Maureen, who's the executive committee of We Can't Wait. Just tell us why we're here today. Well, we're here um, continuing to fight for over a year and a half for the rights of disabled crash victims. The law was changed so that 45% cuts were placed on any kind of aftercare in the home and families were limited to 56 hours. It's resulted in eight deaths so far and fa families and survivors and companies are failing. Awesome. And what are you hoping to get out of today's march? We want to let them know we're not going away. There's a lot of mothers in this group and I think probably all of us know mothers don't give up. We're not going to stop until we save the people who are currently injured and protect those that will be injured in the future by having a, a proper law. And we need our legislature to hear that and to do it. Many are listening, but the leadership is not. Any word from the governor? No, we've asked many times that, to meet personally with her, a group of mothers in fact, and she's refused. But we do hear a lot about the $400 she has taken out of the fund for every driver in Michigan. And uh, that fund doesn't have an excess except for the fact that they are not paying for the services desperately needed by survivors. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, Maureen. And you. you heard it from her. We're here in front of the Department of Insurance and Financial Services, and these protesters plan to, to protest in front of the governor's office this afternoon. Here for you in Lansing, Darylin Horn, 6 News. We can't wait.